Can you shoot your way out of hyperinflation? And if so, what caliber? This question comes from my Telegram channel and it's question number 9 out of the 500 that I will be answering. And the question goes from Matthew Arvad. Did you have the right to bear arms during your time in Romania? Was there a time that you were allowed to and then they took it away? If you were, which caliber type was the most important? So quite an interesting question. I'm gonna you know, start with, I'm not an expert, right? I'm not giving advice on any of this stuff, but I'll do my best to answer to the point where it's still safe to you for YouTube. And I'm gonna answer it really simple actually, and is the caliber that is most prevalent the most easy to get to and the most you can trade because the reason is that well let me put it this way during hyperinflation it was probably a really good if not the best strategy to have same two of the same cars one broken and one actually that was working and the reason for that was for parts so for instance if you had a Dacia um, 1300 then you would also want another you know Dacia 1300 that was taken away taken apart for parts because when the economy grinds to a halt it's not like they're gonna be producing a lot of stuff and even if they would it's not like you're gonna be able to afford them right and why even bother with it if you can prepare in a manner where you know that if something goes bad, you have this whole other toolkit that you can just switch. So that is why most of the family members here are trained and using and training one caliber for pistols. So um, that is for the nine millimeter for us. However, if you would only be able to purchase one gun, one and only one gun, it would have to be the AR-15 and of course the 556 because that is the most versatile and that is uh you know that you can use for close range long range it's much easier to handle for females so if i would have to pick one right now that would be it for the us now of course it was very different for us in romania because well to answer the full question was basically um we did not have the right to bear arms right of course we didn't because we were coming out of communism so um you know it was very strictly forbidden to have any type of self-defense because you would dare to use it against your government because <laughs> because um people were living in different situations back then so but nonetheless the seven um, seven point sixty two by thirty nine was the most uh, most used ammo back then because that was just available everywhere in fact there were some AKs that were specifically issued for civilian guards um, they were not semi they were not automatic they were semi-automatic and I think the patriotic guard was the name of it and they used a different type of um, different type of AK so that was that would get most passed around and people did get a hold of them. It wasn't like it was everywhere, but you would know someone who would know someone who always had one, or you would know something like that. So it was very a very different situation, whereas in the US we have more guns than people, as we should probably, we should have more, way more than that. Uh, and I'll tell you the reason why immediately. But to answer your question, back then it was the seven, 7.62 by 39 but for the US since it's more you know it would be more used it would be the 556 for the AR15 so if you would have to pick one and only one and that's the only thing you have money for then train with that and uh, make sure you have at least one more or your spouse has one more or you both have two um, you know and of course any adult children uh, would have at least one or two and that's why I'm saying you would have to have more. So that is what I would say. At least you're somewhat prepared. Now, with that said, I think uh, 
just for regular self-defense for the daily usage i think that so you could something you can carry i think a nine millimeter maybe a glock something like a glock because it has a big um, aftermarket it would be wise to have because you can conceal it right and you may need a conceal carry permit right now or in your state maybe not depending on your state but whatever uh, it would it would be wise to have one of that as well and I'm gonna go on a limb out here because I'm here's the thing that you need to have you need to diversify to some reason so if let's just go with level one you at least buy you know one AR-15 level two would be every member of the family that is capable and is healthy and is willing to use uh, an AR-15 then you go with that then each of you would have your nine millimeters right and if you only have that you're gonna be really really good as long as you have ammo by ammo usually what they say is one and this is sounds outrageous but it is what it is so you would have to have at least 1000 rounds of um, rifle ammo per person and 500 rounds of um, pistol ammo per person so that's a good starting point and it is what it is now most likely you would need more who knows right and you know it's not a crazy amount if you go and you use the range quite a lot you're gonna burn through them anyway so might as well um, have something like that now beyond that uh, you would need and here's where people are gonna disagree with me and it's fine and most likely we need to take the disagreements to a telegram channel which i have so if you go to telegram and the link will be below for star path academy and then you'll join the chat that i'm more than happy to listen to your opinions in the youtube channel i would say the comments should be probably along side of hey that's cool info or something like that because uh, we need to feel the feed the algorithm in order for uh, you know the channel to pick up so all right so let's go further than that i would say um you know a 6.5 creed more is something that you would want something that is long range something that is light um by the way the, i would say you know if one of the reasons why the 556 would be better for today right because the ammo by weight is much less if you need to carry it for a long term for you know and you need to carry a lot of them and it will count you know it at bigger numbers it definitely counts so i would say um 5.6 millimeter creedmoor is something that you would want to have or something that you can shoot um long range and it can do damage and you can be very very accurate with it some people say a 308 which you cannot go wrong with so if you have a 308 perfect but one thing of course i was mentioning is that with the coming cyberpunk world that we are in what we need to care more about i would say is drones and that's two type of drones and one is gonna be of course the walking dog type of drone so you need to know, learn more about those but you know other than that I'm, I'm gonna say a 50 bmg is necessary and people laughed at me but your squad needs to have a 50 bmg so that's it um of course you know there's many other important things that i said that you would need before that but if you have all of that eventually invest in the 50 bmg but let's not forget one thing that is way more common and if you look at the ukrainian conflict um, both sides have been using uh, flying drones and dropping um, you know dropping let's just say things that go boom so the algorithm doesn't um go nasty on us but that is a way way bigger concern and that is so prevalent now that it is even in the ukrainian conflict uh, every squad member is now having a one person with a shotgun in order to deal with that threat now with that i'm not gonna say too much and i'm not claiming to be an expert 
but that is the biggest area that we're focusing on because just look at modern warfare it is uh, exactly what's happening you know a 4k camera a drone on amazon costs like what 400 bucks or less than that and it's so so easy to, for anyone to to modify that so uh, what I'm gonna say is that usually um, contact or attack or something like that happens at around 40 yards, 50 yards with the drone. And as long as you can take them out at that range, you're probably gonna be okay as if at least you have one member with a semi-automatic um, shotgun. So go with a really good brand Again, if I start talking about, um, you know, gun brands that people go ape shit on YouTube, so I'm not going to do it, but definitely go with something that you can trust. You have more than one and you can fire and you have trained with it for a long term. So, you know, 12 gauge shotgun, semi-automatic, you have to have it now. Absolutely. You have to have it in your pocket in the sense of uh, on your team and if you know anything about like the patterns what they do then you're gonna need a full choke and uh, this might surprise you but um, you know probably best results at that range is gonna be with turkey loads which I'm assuming not many of you have but birdshot is not really the pattern is scattered so much that you're going to have so many big gaps between them that the smaller drone would not even um you know it's going to go through the hole um uh, box shot may not be the best option so people had success at that range with turkey loads and they kick a little bit more but it's definitely something that works really really well and um i'm not gonna say you know load up on turkey loads then you're never going to shoot them hopefully you will never have to shoot them unless some turkeys are attacking you around thanksgiving but what i'm gonna say is practice with it know your patterns know exactly what type of uh, firearm you have and uh, make sure make sure everyone understands that the new world is here and the drones are everywhere and um you gotta prepare for it. So I'm just gonna say that. So it's of course gonna be versatile. I'm pretty sure you know people are gonna say, oh, what about the 300 blackout? I love the 300 blackout. You should have them. You know, you should have them, uh, especially close range and all of that good stuff and um, suppressed. You know, you can't go wrong. But like the the guy asked me, you know, what what you should start with. So whatever you can afford right without overextending and without spending too much on areas of you know that you may not want to spend on however i think consistency repeatability and to be able to think straight to have awareness and make sure that you plan out for a crazy situation so where your squad at least has one person that can deal with it fairly simple anyway so i would say that is the answer for the question um you know we can talk more about firearms i love i love the topic absolutely um but usually you know youtube channel doesn't do well with that so i'm just gonna stop here but i'm gonna answer more question about firearms but what people forget is now two things actually the importance of shotguns again and the importance of um, motorcycles so the importance of motorcycles and shotguns and you gotta watch out for that so anyway uh, talk to you next time and in the meantime make sure you like the video and uh, comment